Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to today's episode. We are visiting Newcastle and beyond. Now Newcastle upon Tyne, very very famous city, lot of history there and full of people who can't understand the Geordies. Uh, so today we will be going through the Newcastle to the Pennines and seeing some cool sights on the way. Now, as we ride through Newcastle, you can no doubt see the Georgian architecture that makes this city so popular. Now, also having multiple versions of itself worldwide, i.e. Australia, America, Canada, and even South Africa, this city has hosted some of the most amazing inventions you can think of. And to begin with, we have the light bulb. Yes, Thomas Edison didn't get there first, it was a Geordie. Uh, also, we have the light switch. And then not to forget, the windscreen wiper. And who could think about Newcastle without thinking, of course, the aeroplane joystick. Now some more popular things that Newcastle has invented, which may only be known to British people, is the popular fizzy drink, LucasAid. Yes, uh, it's the same colour as some of the residents, and also another staple of northeastern English society, Greggs. Yes, an impressive array of inventions there. I'm sure many of you use every day. Uh, I don't know where I would be without my airplane joystick. Right, so enough with my extremely accurate and in-depth historical analysis of Newcastle, and off we go on our journey. Uh, we're heading out of the town now as we're passing uh, Newcastle Central Station on our left, which is a very nice, iconic building. Uh, we come to my first hurdle, the Honda's first hurdle, a slight incline, Ugh. which went on for a bit, so of course I'm getting left behind, obviously. <laughs> Yeah. 
here in Planky Mill now after our long road trip. Well, it wasn't that long. Um, yeah, bit of off-roading on my Honda. And it's great great grandson. Now after a little look around and not wanting to get coronavirus, we're back on our bikes and up that unsurfaced road. Fun times. But just before we managed to set off, we got stopped by a local who has fond memories of the Honda 50. A subtitle translation has been provided. Hi. One to the 90, 40, 43 is what I've had. Yes, when I go out on my Honda 50, I'm always going to meet somebody who'll have a comment on it. Uh, you'll always get a thumbs up from an older guy who that was his first bike. Um, so that was pretty funny running into someone there as well. Uh, he actually had just told me that he used to steal them when he was younger. And that's pretty funny anyway. But that's the second time somebody's came up and said that they used to steal them. So. Uh, although my Honda 50 is perfect in every other way, security mustn't have been that great a deal, especially since it's only got one steering lock, which is pretty easy to steal and break. So, but yes, anyway, up the hill we go at five miles an hour. So after climbing that hill that again was a molehill that turned out to be like a mountain for the Honda 50, it's time to head home. Thank you so much for watching and uh, please like and subscribe, um, leave a comment if you enjoyed it and see you again next time. Bye!